This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and their animated spell cards. And by Steam Forest Games and their upcoming Kickstarter for Animal Adventures of Faraway Sea on July 20th. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today is a fun one. We have the premium figure from Pathfinder Battles Bestiary Unleashed, Tree Razor. Tree Razor is by far the most powerful character in Bestiary 1, or any of the three Bestiaries released really so far, and he's positioned to sort of be the Tarrasque of Pathfinder, the ultimate foe to throw at your high-level party toward the end of a campaign. Pathfinder creative director James Jacobs came up with Tree Razor, who is basically a dinosaur demon, and he came up with him when he was 15 years old. He describes him as a, quote, anti-elf forest-destroying, fungus-inhabiting monster. Tree Razor is the ultimate Pathfinder foe. Let me note that we didn't get Tree Razor in retail packaging. He came alongside our preview box of Pathfinder Battles Bestiary Unleashed minis. We did an unboxing of those, and you can see that in that little floating eye up in the corner of your screen. And before we get started, stay tuned to the end of this video for the winner of the $20 Amazon gift card from our Rusty Dragon Inn full case review video giveaway. For now, let's take a look at Tree Razor. Tree Razor is the self-styled Lord of the Blasted Tarn, a demon lord and a powerful one. He's on the cusp of becoming one of the rulers of the Abyss. He lives in an area known as the Tangle Briar, south of the Fiorani Forest in Kionin, home of the elves on Galarian. When Tree Razor staged an unsuccessful coup against his demonic master and father in the Abyss, he was exiled to Galarian where he began his machinations. At this point, most of the elves on Galarian had retreated back to their home planet of Castroville prior to Earthfall, which was a cataclysm that devastated the planet. But when they detected Tree Razor plotting on Galarian near their old home, the elves came back to disrupt his plans, and they were able to not destroy Tree Razor, but at least contain him in the Tangle Briar. So what makes Tree Razor so powerful mechanically? Well, he has an AC of 54, regeneration 50, and tons of immunities and resistances. He can cast 10th level primal spells, including Horrid Wilting and Time Stop. And he wields an artifact known as Black Axe, which is a plus Four greater corrosive major striking obsidian great axe, which heals the wielder by 250 hit points and grants the benefits of a restoration and restore senses spell when it hits a tree. Tree Razor is a level 25 creature whose size is huge. The mini here comes on a gargantuan sized base though, which I'm fine with. Monsters like this deserve to be as big as they can make them. He's about seven inches tall. Best Jerry One also includes information about Tree Razor's cultists whose ranks include Fungus Corrupted Fae, Debased Elves, and other Devil Worshippers. Most of them are in and around the Tangle Briar, though they exist throughout the Inner Sea region. His symbol is a bleeding dead tree that's been split in half. His followers get certain benefits, which are detailed in the Bestiary. They live to corrupt nature and destroy elves. Tree Razor should be available in July for an MSRP of $89.99, which puts them on the higher end of WizKids Premium Minis. Their Adult Dragon D&D Minis have an MSRP of $69.99. The Ancient White Dragon was $99.99. This falls closer to the Chardalen Dragon, which was $79.99. But you may be able to find them for less if you shop around. It is available for pre-order now through the WizKids store and other online and brick and mortar retailers. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section down below. Have you ever run a Tree Razor encounter with your group? And if so, how did it go? If you want to learn more about Tree Razor, there's a link in the doohickey down below to an interview with creative director James Jacobs, and he talks all about Tree Razor and the elves. And now for the winner of the giveaway for the $20 Amazon gift card. The winner is Caspian Eubanks. Congratulations, Caspian. To claim your prize, just drop us an email at thegallantgoblin at gmail.com. We also have another giveaway going on for Heartbeat Dice, which you can watch the video for by clicking the link in that corner in the screen up there, up in the eye. We'll draw that winner in a few weeks here. Many thanks to our sponsors for this video. First, Steam Forge Games and their upcoming Kickstarter for Animal Adventures to Faraway Sea. Just this morning, I got an email from them with a link to the blog where they're previewing some of the new animal races and minis coming to the Faraway Sea. I'll share two of the other ones with you here today and I'll throw that blog link down in the video description below for you to see the others, or maybe more by the time you're seeing this. Here we have a pig barbarian who looks like he's not afraid to roll around in the mud with you. And here is the orangutan artificer and his robotic toucan. 
Oh, they're so good. This book will include everything you need to play as these animal adventurers and many more. I love it. Be sure to hit the link in the video description below to be notified when the Kickstarter goes live on July 20th. And don't miss out on the Kickstarter exclusive Baby Kraken Mini. That's Animal Adventures the Faraway Sea. Also, thanks to Hit Point Press and the Deck of Mini. They are currently winding down their pre-orders for the new sets of animated reference cards. And you're going to want to get in while you can scare up those pre-order discounts and bundles. These awesome reference cards feature eight frames of particular animation on the front and all the gameplay information you need on the back. So if it's a spell, you can see the cool spell effect on one side and have all those handy spell rules on the back. And if it's a spell with concentration, you can keep that card in front of you to remember to roll those concentration checks. They have animated spell cards for all spell levels, plus animated cards for NPCs, conditions, and more. Check all those out on the pre-order deals before they run out at animatedspells.com. And thank you for watching today. Check out our 5e supplement for Fight Your Minis Tomb Tapper on dmsguild.com and our Rainbow Pride shirts on gallantgoblin.com shop. You can find me on Twitch, Discord, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you enjoyed the video today, click that little like button down there. It helps other people find the video. And you can also keep our cameras rolling by supporting our Patreon at patreon.com slash thegallantgoblin. For now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at The Gallant Goblin.